In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use the bevel tool to create some softened detail. All right, so what we want to do in this particular lesson is talk about the bevel tool. And we want to talk about how it's similar to extrude, but we also want to talk about how it can be very helpful with its added parameter called outline. So looking at this, let's select our dumpster and I want to create some details across the front as well as across the back of our dumpster. Now the detail that I want to create is going to be just to kind of break up the flatness in this area. So it's just to really add um, some interest uh, to certain areas that are really boring. So to get started with this we need to prepare our polygons just like we normally would. So what I want to do is I want to create three different elements right here across the front. So we're going to have our first um, bevel right here in the middle. And then we'll have one just below that and then one below that. So to get started here, let's go ahead and go to our edge mode. And let's select this edge right here. And we're going to use ring to select that ring. And then we'll use connect to cut that in half. Now let's reset our settings here on our slide and set that to zero. I'm going to hit OK on this and I just want to uh, take a look at the left view by hitting L on the keyboard and I want to just kind of take a look at the sizes of these polygons, these three, and I want to try to get them as even as possible. So looking at this, this one looks to be just a little bit bigger than the other two. So I'm going to take this one, uh, this row of vertices up. I'm just going to modify that just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to pull that up just a little bit as well. Okay, just slightly. So that seems to be fairly close in size on all of those. Now, looking at my reference image again, you can see that we have these elements on the corners. And I want to make sure that I have the segments to create. Uh, those elements. So our bevel doesn't go all the way across the dumpster. So we need to make sure that we create those segments. So now let's go ahead and go to edge mode and I'm going to select this edge and I'm going to go ahead and hit ring and that's going to select that ring all the way through just like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and use connect. Now I could go ahead and use slice plane just to try and keep my polygons even but I think that this will give us pretty much the same result. Okay, so let's hit connect and let's split that into two segments. And then we're going to use our pinch to spread them apart. We want to go toward the corners. So let's go to something around this value here. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard just to kind of look at that. And that seems to be pretty good. Let's go up maybe to 86. I'm trying to get this polygon and this polygon to be fairly the same. Actually, let me drop that down. I want that to, I want it across the front to be a little bit longer than the side here. So we'll go to about 80. So now I'll hit OK on that. And then what we'll do from here is we'll go ahead and we'll select the polygons that we want to bevel. So let's select those and let's use inset first because we need to separate these polygons before we can bevel those. Now, if I were to bevel these, look at what ha would happen. Even if I did by polygon, okay, it would extrude those out, and then if I were to pull that in, it's still not quite the same. If we take a look at our concept again, you see that we have these flat edges in between the polygons that are beveled inward. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and use inset to create those flat edges. So let's use inset and let's switch it from group to by polygon and then we'll take our inset amount up and let's do something around two and we might go a little bit higher let's do let's do four that's going to be a good value and once we have that now we can use the bevel tool and we can extrude that inward so switch that to a negative direction so let's do negative one and enter but you'll see that our polygons seem to have disappeared. Now what has actually happened is the polygons 
have gone through the other side. So we want to make sure that we are slightly above that surface. So we'll do something like negative 0.6. Now the next setting that we have is called our outline setting. What this is going to do is basically scale our, um, our polygon. So if I adjust this up or down, it's going to scale that without changing the outside edge. So let's do negative 1.1. Let's hit OK on that. And there we go. So now what we need to do is we need to get the back side. So let's select those polygons. And as you can see, we have the uh, segments already set up. Let's use Inset. And it should keep our settings, so let's just hit OK. And then finally, let's use our bevel settings again. And again, it gives us those same settings. And we can hit OK to replicate that. So now that we've created that detail for our dumpster, uh, we can go ahead and get the detail that we need on those corners now. So as you can see, uh, we've built up the, the detail, going from the larger details, and now we're starting to get into some of the smaller details on the dumpster itself. So to finish uh, this up really quickly on the corners, uh, let's go ahead and select those polygons. Okay and we can do all of these at the same time. Okay. Now one thing that I noticed right away is on the back side uh, we don't have the same size so we need to go ahead and create a segment that is the same distance here as to this corner and out. So let's go ahead and use our slice plane to help us out with this. So let's go ahead and go to slice plane Let's rotate that 90 degrees and let's hit Control Z one time or undo and let's turn on our angle snap. Now let's rotate that 90 degrees to where it's pretty much straight up and down. Let's go to our front view by hitting F on the keyboard and then I'm going to grab my move tool and I'm going to pull that toward the back of the dumpster here. So I want to try to get the same distance as we have right here. So I'm going to pull that back and let's pretty close. I think that's pretty much right on there. So let's hit slice and then turn off slice plane. So now that we have those segments, let's go back to polygon mode and let's deselect that. And we have those polygons. Let's make sure that we grab these. And there we go. So now we can go ahead and extrude those straight off of there. So let's use extrude and let's make sure that we reset our settings. Let's do zero first just to get a good starting place. And we're going to make sure that we're by group. And actually looks like we've selected one or a few too many here. So let's hold down alt and deselect these. And there we go. And let's increase our extrusion amount and we want to do just a little bit. We don't want to go too far. Now you'll notice that by group they're kind of coming out in one direction. So let's do by local normal. Try that one more time. And you can see that they come straight out. Let's take this amount down and let's do something like 0.5. Okay, a very small amount. Might even go a little bit larger. Okay, maybe 0.6 just to make that a little more readable. Okay, so now we can hit OK on that, and there we have our extruded detail Okay, on our dumpster. So that looks great. We've got all of the details that we need in our dumpster up to this point, um, except for one minor thing. You'll notice that the corners are very, very sharp along the edges of our dumpster. And what we need to do at this point is we need to soften those up once we've finished out some of these details. So to soften those edges, we're going to use what's called the chamfer tool. And the chamfer tool is really great because it splits single edges into multiple edges. However, it does take a little bit of know-how on how to control it. So we're going to learn about that next.